my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Today's gospel tells the story of a nameless woman whom the scribes and Pharisees tracked before Jesus. She was accused, convicted, and judged. They brought her to Jesus as he sat teaching in the temple. Prostrate before Christ, she sobs bitterly. Alone, trampling at his feet, she listens to their accusations. The church, adultery, the verdict, guilty, the penalty, stoning. But the eyes of Christ see the religious leaders' intention with a glance. They came to trap him. Seeming to ignore them, he stoops and writes something on the ground. The circle of the bearded man impatiently watches and waits. Stones are ready in their hands. And suddenly he declares, let the one among you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone at her. Again, he stoops to write on the crown. One by one, the accusers creep away into the crowded street to hide their shame. Along now, Jesus looks at the weeping woman at his feet. Woman, where are your accusers? Has no one condemned you? Incredulous, she lifts her head for the first time and looks into the eyes of the merciful rabbi. No one, sir. Neither do I condemn you. Go and do not sing anymore. Brothers and sisters, Jesus knows everything about us. We cannot hide anything from him. But he is not there to judge, accuse, or condemn us. Men have already done that. Jesus is there to offer forgiveness and to bid us not to sing again. The past cannot be erased. We have to live with our mistakes. But God can use them for good when we have a contrite heart. Not only God completely forgives, He tells us we can begin again. When we come to confess our sins in the sacrament of reconciliation and ask Christ for forgiveness, like the woman in the story, we expect the miraculous miracle, the forgiveness of sins. God forgives us sinners and sets us on the path of righteousness. Go, and from now on, do nothing anymore. He bids us. Can we do it? Not in our own strength. Even though in our hearts we desire to please God and we do not want to sing again, we know we will. We are not free from sin again. That fact will always be present in our flesh. 
But our sin cannot condemn us because the blood of Christ has redeemed us. When we are overpowered by temptation, we cry out to the Lord. Our cry will keep us guiltless. The Apostle John instructs us, if we acknowledge our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive our sins and cleanse us from every wrongdoing. Go and sin no more is a command and a challenge. It means we can begin again wherever we are because we trust him. When we rely on his strength, he will help us. That is why he came. His love and mercy see us through whenever we pray, Lord, forgive me for my sins and give me the strength to go and sing no more. Amen.